All right, guys, what's going on? SmartHelping.com here, and today we're doing not a new model, but an update of an old one that really is something you know any business could use and benefit from. It's just very uh, general, and it's the KPI dashboard. Now, it used to be for a very specific type of business, which with very specific logic. Now it's been generalized so you can track a whole bunch of different things for invoices and per data points. So this is the general dashboard with all these charts and graphs but the probably the best place to start is the input card to explain. So what you've got here is an invoice entry and a daily data entry or it could be weekly or monthly or whatever so the point the most important area is going to be your invoice entry and this is if you know you want to track how you're performing based on just information you will find on your invoice and there's a whole bunch of extra fields here and add-ons if that's applicable clients um, but the main main things we've got to report on are uh, you're going to enter the invoice date, the client type or revenue type, and that could be let me change that client revenue. actually no that is client type so you might have a couple broad categories of clients that you want to track right now it's set at three it could be more or less uh, not very difficult to change um, so that's just saying if you want to because in the front here you can actually report by client type so it's going to show you everything that's paid and everything that's outstanding for each type of client so if you have uh, let's say residential clients commercial clients or and some other type of client it's going to break that uh, sales summary down based on each type so that's one uh, reporting measure and then the chart here the pie graph is going to show you a uh, breakdown of, of those figures by each client type and based on what start and end date you choose it's going to populate this information. So if I change this to say 2018, all these numbers go away because that happened before then. So you can pick any date range. It's not limited to a year. You could pick a week range, any range here, any two dates, and it's going to do. Um, it's going to track the. It's going to include the end date and the start date so it's not going to do less than it's actually going to do less than or equal to the end date and greater than or equal to the start date sorry about that just had to take care of something um, anyway so start and end dates include this you've also got um, so that's by client type that's what that means invoice number so you could obviously separate things by invoice number and there's the invoice tracking uh, summary sheet as well I'll show you that in a minute then you've got invoice status now this is a little bit clunky but the bottom line is you can enter if an invoice has been paid or it's outstanding obviously you're going to put outstanding if you're just entering it and it has been paid yet um, if you just want to put paid on everything because you don't care um, you're just assuming everything's paid and you don't want to go back and change it later or you don't care about seeing a breakdown between paid and, and outstanding you can just pick one every time but if you do pick, uh, let's say, outstanding, and you you enter it in with the macro here, and there's also a non-macro version of this uh, model, um, it's going to show up on database 3. Database 3 is the invoice. Database 1 is just the data points. So here, database 3, you can see outstanding is right here. If you want to change the status, you actually just manually go into the database here and change this. So you could put paid here. Uh, you know, if anything else was outstanding, you could mark it as paid manually. And then it will auto update. So if I put this back, let's say I put this one to outstanding. 
it was revenue or client type 3 and I've also got a there's all these fields but we can uh, it's client 1 we can also minimize this so then you could see your main fields here um, invoice amount so we put 1000 at outstanding let's just let's say this was 250 instead so we can show the difference now if you go on your front here you can see 250 type 3 and it's outstanding now if I change this to paid now it's moved over to the paid column and there's nothing outstanding so there's a breakdown there of paid to outstanding and then total sales and then sales by client type now if I changed let's say we got 2000 to type 2 if I changed some of these to type 1 let's say we put them all at type 1 you can see that will change on the front everything's now type 1 only and then here's our consolidated paid to outstanding um, there's also an annual tracker here and you can set the start date right here and then this will go out one year from whatever date you put in in the yellow box and you can see this is all uh, shows sales amount paid amount outstanding so you actually can have a, a running outstanding balance that's going to show if there is anything outstanding uh, let's just say this is outstanding still it's going to say there's a thousand dollars outstanding there's the line right there and then that could change as the number changes of what's been paid and what's uh, not been paid uh, so that's just a nice kind of revenue annual revenue summary um, between paid and in sales or paid and in, in outstanding now the main the next part of the input card is going to be very important so that's the type of service or product and here we've got a total of I think how many fields do we got in here you can do 20 so you've got up to 20 different services or products that you can track and you've got a chart for all of them and this auto update so see this says bikes the title of it if you change the validation where bikes let's change that to scooters you can see on the front the title of the chart changed the scooter so all that is all automated you don't have to go in and change the chart titles or anything now this is going to count this is going to sum the revenue for each service type now I think we've got them all in here as oh we got some as rentals uh, that's old that's from the other model I had so let's just say uh, some of these are boats I think that was one of them yeah now we go back to the front oh there's our boats um, analysis for the year and we just have one day of data so it's just gonna look like a spike but generally when you have a full year's worth of information you'll see this moving as a line up and down over um, each month but right now there's just boats and auto services and you can see the amount right there and actually I'm gonna format that to not show cents on all these but I'm not going to show you that or you don't have to watch me do that I'll do that after the video just so it gives a little bit more room but so each chart all everything all auto populates based on whatever values are there and that summary if you just want to see the numbers is in summary one you can check and that's this date is driven by the dashboard on the front and it will just show you by month or actually by day all of the revenue for each type of service and then also th this is where the total sales paid and outstanding amounts go and you can see it goes to a thousand on that March 1st when we have the amount outstanding entered uh, and then this is also where the client type revenue is by day so these are all the chart sources for um, service type paid outstanding amounts and revenue type or client type uh, all those are there so you get the picture on that 
Now, actually, hold on a second, because I think I had revenue and count. Let me see what's this doing. Extra field. Well, is that all of them? Let's, let's count how many there are. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty. So actually, yeah, that is that's right. Those are all just uh, represent each of these fields. There's twenty there. Yep. Okay. So that's where this is. And then these extra fields, quantity here, extra field, they will go to the database, but right now there's not a summary that does anything with them, with the add-ins or this, but that is something you might want to track and then eventually build summaries for it in the future. So it's just so you have the option to put it on there right now. Uh, same with client names. There's no report that says anything about a specific client at the moment because this is supposed to be more of a broad you know you're looking at the key performances of broad categories so this is basically going to give you a year snapshot or whatever date you choose here but in general these annual summaries are just going to give you one year's worth of information on these key um, and it's, it's not going to show it's just showing revenues of each type because that's probably going to be your most important thing is you want to know what's selling the most or the least or or whatever. Um, and it's looking at it at, at it more of a perspective of an invoice, but it's not going to try. It's not like an accounts payable and receivable template. I already have that built, the specific model just for accounts payable and receivable. That's not what this is. Um, so service type, all these add-ons, client. You pick the invoice amount here. Total items on invoice is now just going to be. It's going to include anything on these extra fields. Right now it's just one. And then once you have all the in, you can just hit enter data and it goes right into the database. Now, if you want to clear clear the information, you hit clear invoice, it zeroes everything back out for a new record to be entered. So that's that function, and that's how it's going to track your performance. Uh, on that aspect. The other one is your daily data points or whatever time frame it could be. And this is just um, it's simple. You enter a date and you enter what data point you're tracking. And you can enter a revenue type or a client. That's not really going to be go anywhere because the only charts for this are right here. And it's just going to give you an annual summary based on whatever start date you put of each data point, the count of them. So you'll enter a numerical value in these data point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven. And this is saying, okay, well how many um how many people did you have walk in the store on a given day? Or how many people did you have do this or that? So you're gonna be looking at some kind of system that shows you it and you can look at it if you just want to report on a weekly basis, just enter the, you know, last day of the week, doesn't matter and enter all the figures that you want to track and then you can enter that data and that's going to go into database one you can see right there is a record we just did and then you get a simple summary of all of the different data points and these obviously data point one two five eight one, these are all going to update on based on what you put right in here so if i say you know uh store traffic is one data point. You see this is now store traffic and you could it'll show you a chart over the course of a year what your store traffic was. And then you could do that for all these there's just a whole bunch of different options to do that and then you also have a summary of the that uh bucket of each data point based on this start and end date. And that's what's showing up right here. So you also have your you know, we put store traffic. We've got a total of eight in between the state and the state. Um, date point two, three, etc. 
So this is showing you a snapshot of, you know, if this is a one year's time frame, it's showing you the one year's time frame. If it's a week or a month or whatever, you can report on how you've done on all these data points and it will update and give you the percentage. And then all the charts are on a, a annual basis showing you over the course of one year based on this start date what are your metrics looking like and so that could be anything store traffic uh, I don't know uh, sales calls um, whatever you want to feel like tracking and you just enter the number the count of whatever those whatever it is for each point and if it doesn't it's not applicable you just put in zeros here we have the clear data macro on this as well so you, you don't have to manually clear anything out and those are the two things so you're tracking basically dollar values and you're tracking key indicators here of any it could be anything whatever you feel like putting in here to track and then you see it all on the front and then the client type is going to show this is a separate summary that's showing you based on your invoices based on what you put on the client what those sales look like over the course of a year for you know type one two and three and then we've got instructions here if you need any more clarity and I've also got uh, comments in the the cells and that about sums up and now it's going to be a lot more user friendly for uh, general use cases oh I almost forgot the query tab so here you can actually sum this and it's going to give you automatically populate the list of all invoices and give you the amount of standing paid in total sales of those also if you just want to query one um, invoice and let's see where's this going from so that's taking everything in there you can actually just pick one and see and it'll give you the the status of that one if you got a whole bunch in here and you just want to see you know report on that basis I think that about does it for this model now if you want to purchase it it's a one-time fee and right now it's a mid-level so it's gonna be forty five dollars and then most likely I mean this is broad enough that it could be used by anybody right now ready to go but if you want specific adjustments done I just charge a forty dollar an hour rate to get it to be tailored specifically to your business situation but as it stands this will work for pretty much anybody that has the invoices and you could track uh, different areas of those invoices um, based on the criteria criteria and key performing metrics I've built into it at the moment. Alright, this is smarthelping.com and I'll see you on the next one.